Hey there guys, this is Ultra Grunt. We are back in Stalker Clear Sky. Last time, we went to the loner base inside of Agriprom. Over there we helped out the stalkers a little bit. They had some issues with bandits and mutants and uh, we helped them clear it out. And now they're starting to repopulate the area a little bit. Hopefully that'll transfer over to the garbage, but I don't think it will. So, today, I want to check out that shooting range actually. There's that um, guy there who wanted me to shoot on the shooting range, so we're going to talk to him. Um, I also want to go and pick up that assault rifle from the loner base. Let me have a look at my objectives here, see if there's anything else I can be doing here right now. I mean, there's probably objectives for me to do for duty as well, if I had to guess. But I've got like a lot of finding upgrade quests at the moment. So, we'll probably go looking for some of these stashes in that case. See if we can get any of the upgrades for the mechanics that are in either base. So, um, there's a stash here. That's not anything I thought it would be, but that's fine. There is a stash in the garage back here. Car in the garage, a stash my junk in a trunk of the commander's 4x4. As long as it ain't going nowhere, my stuff will be safe. Huh. It's not going to be safe from me. So let me get over there. I did see an anomaly. Some anomalies there. Hmm. So, there's a stash inside here somewhere. There is definitely an anomaly there that I was ran straight into. Oh, I see a stash. Anti reds in a med kit. You saw nothing, friend. Okay. Can you offer me? I'll reimburse you with the coordinates of a cache in the booth near the factory. Uh, not interested. Let's go to that shooting range, which should be over here. Also, I don't know why the weather is so overcast right now. When I saved the game. It was sunlight. There's like there's a clear day, a clear sky, if you will. And then um, when I've loaded the game today to record, it's like super overcast, like it's gonna storm or something. Don't wave me over if you've got nothing for me, friend. Ooh, no, there's nothing in it. You wanna test your shooting skills? Um, hey Merc, wanna find out how good a shooter you are? What are the rules? You got three options: practice, score challenge, or accuracy challenge. In all the three modes, you choose a shooter and have ten seconds to get ready. The targets will pop up randomly. Practice mode is easy. A target will go down after three hits. Your goal is to score as many points as possible. As you can guess, practicing won't earn you any money. But it's a good way to test your abilities. The next mode is a scoring challenge. Each target pops up for only two seconds and you must try to hit it for as many points as possible. Your time is limited so don't aim too long. Here we play for money. If you reach your target score, I pay you. If not, you pay me. And the last mode is accuracy challenge. Here you must hit the bullseye of each target. Your goal is to take down as many targets as you can in a given time. This is the toughest mode, so don't go all broke in a day. Betting is the same as always. If you hit the required number of targets, I pay you. If not, I keep your bet. Okay, let's give it a try. Another thing, leave your stuff with me before you go. Everything's gotta be fair. You can't use anything but my shooter. Don't fret though, you'll get your stuff back. Safe and sound once you're done. Um, let's go for the scoring challenge. Ooh, we got a choice of weapon here. 
Let's use the avalanche, why not? Your time is limited and you have to score at least 250. My bet is that you won't manage 1,000 room. Let's agree. Let's have a look what we get. Oh, it's the, uh, okay. I wasn't sure what it was. I'm reloading. I think we're going to easily do this. Just because there's no penalty for me missing the target. I feel like the condition of this weapon is like going downhill while I'm firing it. Like it's getting less and less accurate. Maybe I should have been crouching, but I mean this is the easiest version of a challenge, so it's not a problem. At least it provides me a gun and ammo, so. So what's my final score? I was wrong about you. Take your money. You earned it fair and square. Wanna have it a go? Uh, maybe later. That might be a good way to kill some time later. Huh. This guy can answer me some questions about a duty base as well. Um, listen, is it really true that you're pals with the army guys? I can't really get into that. We've got some discipline in his place, after all. Our General Krilov certainly used to be a military man. I heard a few stories about how, just as a zone formed, the government organized a military operation in here. They were sent to a very center of the zone, with an order to blow it all to hell with nuclear explosives. Can you imagine what that means? These guys were sent with no protection, no detectors, no information about what to expect in a zone. Many perished in anomalies right off. Many of those who didn't were done in by an admission. The few soldiers were left behind to die a slow death. The general is one of those few. I don't know who he's pals with. He hates the military ever since he and his buddies were sent straight to their deaths. He's got some connections in Spetsnaz, though. Spetsnaz only gets real men. Sometimes duty crosses paths with them. That's pretty much it. Consider it an abridged version. Who's that shithead presiding over your store? Don't mind him. That's our local dumbass Mite. As one professor would put it, he's nothing but a vulgar swine. No garden is without its weeds, and Mite is the designated weed in ours. He'd be a perfect fit for the Inquisitor's Zoo. Would complete the collection as a top show freak. Sometimes I wish a pseudo dog would adopt him. But really, he's much better off as a trader. If he spent his days in the bar, he'd spend more time getting his ass beat than actually drinking. Or worse. Even consider that manhandling is a sure way to wind up in the cooler. That wouldn't stop most. So he's got a cache inside some cylinders. Um, so it's actually in there. No idea. But that's an expensive cache. That could be worth getting. I don't actually have enough money to take it though at the moment. I'm over encumbered. Do you take my armor off? Oh, it's because my artifacts went off. Yeah, okay. I was wondering what happened there for a second. Oh, it's daylight now. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to store a few things in this box here that I don't need currently. So I've just stored a bunch of stuff away for now. We'll come back and get those later. 
some of you are concerned that I'm carrying too many things, so let's put a few things away for now, and we'll come back and collect them as we go. Now, what do I want? We need to go up there to collect a reward. Is there anything else we can do down here, though? That's a bar. I think I need to just go and get this. Maybe that'll trigger some quests for duty. And if not, we can always go to the hole. Let's get out here. So I've still got my shotgun for mutants, and I've got my AN-94 here for fighting other soldiers. I do think there's an artifact over here. I'm right. It's bouncing around in here. I saw this last episode and I wondered if there would be something in it. I'm just not really sure how to actually get in there for the artifact. Oh. It's much simpler than I thought. I got it. I'm surprised none of these guys went for it. What do we get? We got another wrenched. More radiation protection. Very nice. So what are you guys doing here? This doesn't seem like a good location to have a camp, but I suppose if they monitor in this maybe. So tell me, what's up? How can I help you? I can't help you. What are you looking at, friend? Yeah, these guys have got nothing for me. Creepy sounds of the swamp. Okay, well. Well, let's take a run over to the loner base. Get what we need from there. Be careful not to take these anomalies. Like I feel like I might. still a massive pile of bandits here, I think. Yep. Call these bandit bodies. I did want to check them for a few more rounds here for my shotgun. Because I didn't actually check everybody here. I just sort of got fed up of checking everybody. So I just went and grabbed one or two things off of select people. Still a lot of AKs here, though. I might pick up the AKs real quick for selling. But they've got a lot of shotguns, like, I feel the shotguns were not the best option for these guys for attacking this base. You think they would have gone with some more AKs, possibly? Or even Vipers, you know? There's a couple of Vipers here. I didn't even notice these guys dead down here. Hey, that's handy though. Got a few more things that I needed. So let's quickly empty all these. Yeah, I think we're good. So I want to check, see if um, this trader here has actually got anything for me to I'm be doing. Uh, this mechanic doesn't at the moment.
Oh, wait, no, he's not got anything for me. I wanted to see if he actually had a quest for me to do. But he doesn't. So, I'm just going to quickly trade in these AKs. Because I just need the money more than anything. Some of these grenades. Nice. Right now, we're not ready to use that sever suit that we've got. Um, I think we're going to use that in the future once we upgrade it a little bit more. And we'll probably end up using that until we have, you know, a better piece of armor. So, that AK should be here somewhere. It's not inside this box, is it? Nah, there's some ammo inside of it. That was weird. It's in such a weird spot, look. You wouldn't think this is a search location. Okay, well, we got his rifle. So we'll take that back to him shortly. I think I want to check out some more stuff around here, though. So, real quick, I'm going to go out to the swamp where the guy says he's got a reward for us. It's out this way somewhere. There was a big anomaly field up there as well that we saw from the top of um, the loner base, if you remember. We saw people getting caught up in it and just dying. So, let's quickly go over here. I could actually arm myself with a shotgun. Because we did see a bloodsucker down here. Oh yeah, look, these are the zombie guys. There's some bones around here as well. Is this the only guy? Oh no, there's another guy. I thought he, this was the only person for a second. Ooh, he's got a scope Vintar. Okay. You have to say, say oh, no, there's still some more here. Hold on, I'll talk to you in a second. Just want to see if there's anything else here for me. Yeah, not many of these guys actually made it through here. I'm listening. Merc, great job. Now we have a clear path to Yantar. Grab one of our armored suits, it'll protect you from anomalies. I'm glad I could help your group. Sunrise suit. Let's have a look at this thing. Ooh. So it's already got upgrades on it. Wait, where are you going? Don't leave me here. Oh, they're going off into Yantar, I guess. I could go up there and sell my additional anomalies. I could go up there and sell my additional um, artifacts I don't need. But I don't think I need to go up to Yantar yet. So anyway, let's have a look at this compared to what we've got right now. It's bulletproof. This is um, has a lot to be desired. But it can carry five artifacts. It's not as good as that Siva suit though. Just in general, like it's got better. Um, this Siva suit's got more protection against anomalies and radiation and this is. 
Hmm. We may end up selling that. Always in need of um, more money, so. Yeah, they've just gone. So it looks like to me that there's a potential artifact location over here. No matter what, you can always hear Duty's announcements. Indeed there is. You can see that dead bloodsucker over there. I think we're going to have to make a save here, just so I don't die. <laughs> It. it wasn't a soul, I don't think. Oh, wait, no, we picked up... Yeah, we picked up another soul or moonlight. I don't know which one we picked up. Or was it the night star? I don't know what we picked up. Either way, it's one that we don't really need at the moment as well. So... That's fine. Okay. Let's uh, get away from here. Actually, there's some green smoke over here. Like the misty sort of stuff. I'm wondering if there's actually anything in this shack here as well. Okay, okay, it's all toxic. <laughs> I was wondering if I could um, actually go in there. There's probably something in there. I don't have the protection right now for that. Okay, let's go and deliver this assault rifle, actually. Before we carry on. Guy is inside here, inside the bar. We can give him back his weapon. Before we do that, I'm going to actually unload it. Free ammo, after all. Hey! I returned what you asked me to. And go and collect a reward now. What can you offer me? There's a small hideaway inside a blue crate on the roof of a boiler room. It's teaming with zombies, so watch out. I feel like everyone's got all these stash locations and no one ever seems to know what's ever in them. We should probably grab that one, I feel like. Stalkers, Nothing interesting. Hunters, can't help him anymore. So where do we collect our reward from? Oh, the trader, of course. How's in rubles? Not bad. It just paid for the information I just bought off of him. I should go and sell these extra weapons as well that I picked up. Well, this um, Vintar I may hold on to. And see if it's better than the one I've got stored away in a moment. I'm going to store away this suit as well in that box for now. Just because I don't know if it's worth holding on to at this moment in time. I don't think it will be. Ugh, no. Let's see. Where you're going, finally. Let's give him these. And I don't think there's anything else I can give him right now. No. I do feel like this could be better. Oh, it's kind of not very good though for like anomaly stuff. But the bulletproofness is a lot better. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, I think I was pretty lucky to get this as early on as I did because this has just been a fantastic suit of armor. Do you have anything for me? You want great stashes? And great stashes is what I got. 
They will be yours if you dare to go in a radiation hotspot. Your prize lies by the side of a corpse. That's quite pricey, that one. Are you leaving us? Nothing. Now, real quick, let's go inside this stuffed mutant museum thing over here. One of these guys will talk to me about it. Uh, oh, due to member's case. Merc, when the mutants started appearing in the underground, we had to abandon our positions and fall back. I was forced to leave my case back there with weapons, ammo, meds, and my detector. I didn't have time to think about it. I had to save myself. Help me get that case back. This? But where is your case? I suppose that's in the underground area. Because I don't see the location anywhere. Hmm. Have these guys got anything for me as well? No. But we did want to talk to this guy. What's this zoo for? Remember the old movie with the huge mutant cockroaches? Before you kill an insect, study it well. No? <laughs> well, this place is kind of like that. Before a newbie faces even a blind dog out in the open, he'd better see one in a cage. He'll save a clean pair of pants that way, if not more. He'll observe the beast, study its habits, and when the time comes, when his life depends on it, his hand will be firm. Other beasts are the same. Besides, the zone isn't big on entertainment, so my little freak show comes in handy. Who catches your animals for you? I used to do it myself. That was some hassle, I tell you. I nearly kicked the bucket a couple of times. Then a few more guys joined me. One by one. It's a great experience, and exciting too. Besides, imagine a bragging rights when hanging out in a bar. Hey man, you may have just killed this monster, but I caught him alive. I had a couple of Jabawas die recently. Two kids volunteered to go hunting for a replacement. Ballsy, but so damn naive. They tied some meat to a string and approached the Jabawa. One lured in a few, while the other kept the pack at bay with gunfire. They did catch their prey, but as soon as they turned to leave, the whole pack went after them. They ran half a marathon before reaching the base, and then our guys helped them out with fire. He shoved the heroes, then gulped down a whole bottle of liquor just to relax. And there's a stash I know in this evil kind of place. On the other hand, you can be sure it's never been raided. Look for it in the basement under the stairs. An evil kind of place. Basement under the stairs. I don't even know where that would be. You know what, though? One thing that might actually be good for me to do is to go down into the swamps. While I'm, like, so close to it. it might be worth me going there, turning in this quest here, and then trying to... But then again, maybe not, because I wanted to take all those assault rifles I left back at the Freedom Base and sell those, if you remember. So maybe I won't do that. Well, let's go search a couple more stashes. Ah, uh, trash ammo. I could take all this. Oh, I want to dump off this um, suit as well before I carry on. Oh, they both got scopes on them. I thought only one of them did. Well, in that case, I might as well sell that one. That extra one. We'll do that later. Um... Put my additional vodka in there. Right, so let's go out to this, the safe in the bushes. We tried dragging that safe full of junk across the ravine. It was so muddy from the rain that we kept slipping and falling over, eventually just dropping it along the way. Let's go and check that stash out. Should just be over here. I wonder what that is there, actually. Tower. There 
there is an anomaly up here. Just kind of curious if there's actually more anomalies. There's a couple, but there doesn't seem to be a hot spot. So what else have we got here for this? Nobody's back. I spotted one on a tree near the base, near the duty base, but no time had, but had no time to go climbing after it. So it's in a tree. Apparently the sun's setting already. I want to see what this thing is though. Let's have a look at this. Permission needed to enter the hole. I guess that's a way into the underground? Permission needed to enter the hole. <laughs> okay then. Let's, um... You know what, let's go and visit the hole over here. Where the guys are wanting me to go. Where duties wanting me to go. Let's have a look which way it is. Uh, there's a stash along the way. Rigman's backpack. I had to climb all the way to the top of the tower until our guys drove those darn dogs away. I had to drop my backpack in the bushes. Yeah, I was thinking about going down to the swamps to upgrade my CS suit a bit more, but at the same time, is it worth doing it at this point if I'm already upgrading the Siva suit? Because I'm wanting to get other suits. What are they aiming at? Yeah, I think I'm going to end up with a, another suit soon anyway. Not necessarily be still using the Siva suit. It's going to help. Hold on, guys. The fight is over. Descending to the Agriprom underground. What oh, with all these snorks coming out of it? Everyone, be at the ready. That was a lot of snorks. I guess we can catch our breath now. Time is money, so. How can I help you? I can't help you. Yes. Have you guys got anything for me? I'm like helping you out. No. Uh, looks like we're going to be going down into the underground. Ooh, a new shotgun. guy was uh, unfortunately in the wrong spot apparently. I don't want to go down there. Can't you guys go down? Well, let's go down there. Let's get into the underground. Okay. Well, let me think. How good is this? I could probably drop this one. I don't need this. Gosh, is there anything else I can drop right now? I don't need that. Because I was thinking about switching out my artifacts. Seems like we're already carrying a lot of stuff. Um. 
I don't know. Maybe I should go back outside first. Drop off some stuff and then come in. I don't know if I can get back out. Nope. Well, I'm down here now. Because I did want to switch out my things here. I guess we can always switch out things as we go through. Decide what we need to use at which points, you know? Uh, I don't like all this shaking and fire. I guess I've got to keep moving. Yep, I've got to keep moving. What are these sounds? Snorks aren't making those sounds, are they? all burning up behind me. Make it cool. Let's get up this ladder. Ooh, there's a lot of goodies in here. I'm actually going to make a save. I'll take everything here. It's all useful to me. Switch to my 8K. I've got a lot of ammo now, actually. This doesn't look... Um like it should be here. Oops. That's a lot of screaming. Oh great, his controller here. Come on. I can't really see his face. all sorts. There's some of them psi like mutants here as well, them ones that are like just appear and hurt. Come on. I'm like hmm this is not good. Things aren't going well. Well, I killed him. But I'm dying from the side missions in this room. I guess I've got to get over there. I've got something that is good against telepathy, haven't I? Moonlight. That'll help me a little bit. Yeah, maybe I should have came in with a different suit. There's so much shaking going on. Where's the controller's body? Has this radiation as well? So really, I can't have either of these things on. I need my radiation protection. 
hope it just calms down a little bit for me. Wow, some full metal jacket rounds for a pistol I don't use. Okay, the telepathy is calming down a bit now. I'm still taking a lot of damage here. I guess it's because I was fully radiated there. Do I not even have a map of this place? I don't. Okay. What do I do here then? I don't want to go through there. There's a ladder there. How do I get to it? Oh wait, no, this is the flood controls, isn't it? Rotate crane. Okay, let's do that. Actually, I should save. Okay, we're saved. Let's do this. Gotta leave. There is hazardous. Uh, it's probably not time for me to search stuff like that. I should probably just like it. It's that spence nice guy here. Excuse me, rats. Um, stop pushing me, please. Let me get out of here. Okay. We can't go back that way. Great work, stalker. Life should be a little easier now that the tunnels are flooded. We owe you, man. Come see me for your reward. I wonder if these are the stairs that guy was talking about for the stash. They are, indeed. Well, at least I think it is. I can't really tell. Find stalker group stash. Oh! Fancy seeing you down here, Mr. Bandit. You don't belong down here. There's a couple of little boxes here. Some nice rounds in there. Some more in there too. Okay. If there's one bandit, there's bound to be more. Ugh. See, this is where having no mini map really is a struggle. There's some gunfire head or something. I don't know if he was shooting at me or if he was shooting at someone else, but. What's your friend here have? Nothing of worth. I must feel sorry for this guy. With the way he was stuck like that. Oh wait! I recognize this spot. 
I wonder if there's actually anything up here. If we can get inside. There's a couple of little boxes here. Strelok stash. Guys, this is Strelok. I didn't expect Doc to fix me up so fast. I heard rumors that someone has learned of our success and is seeking to contact us. I have a bad feeling about this. I fear we may need to hurry up with our next visit to the center. Hey, Strelok, got to see you alive. Fang and I found all the parts we needed and put together two decoders. We left them both in a stash near the Scorcher. We'll pick them up when we head to the center. Ghost, that's great news. Our plan is as follows. We can't make it through the underground, so our only option is to go past the Scorcher. I'm on my way to Sakharov to pick up a device that will help us get through the Scorcher in one piece. Wait for me at the military warehouses. Okay. Merk, this is Lagadev. The correspondence found in this stash explains a lot. We now know that Strelik's group made it to the center, and we also know that they're planning to go there again. Reckless fools. If they succeed, they'll trigger a second large emission. An emission so powerful that every living creature in the zone will be incinerated, and the zone itself will become unstable. We cannot let that happen. Strelik went to Lake Yantar. You are closest to that area. Try to intercept him there, and we'll take care of Fang and Ghost. Well... I guess we're going to be hunting down Strelok. I heard his footsteps. Make sure they're dead. German shell, what a name. I guess we gotta get out then. I would assume we go back this way. I keep hearing the rats and thinking there's gonna be some coming for me. So yeah, uh Strelok. We're going to go and find him, I guess. Gonna go um, to Lake Yanta. Heard somebody breathe. Thought I heard some footsteps behind me as well. The paranoia is setting in. Toolkit? Nope, there's the elephant's foot. Guess we're climbing up here. Oh, we're going red. Why are we going red? There's a lot of pirate guys in here. I'm not sticking around in here to burn. The door's closed. Guess we're going up still. I'm stuck on these stairs. I don't think we can kill these pirate guys. We're just getting out of here. <laughs> And we're out of there. We are out of the underground. And it's very dark out here. Well, at least very overcast. And look, we're outside of that hole that we we're told we weren't allowed to go down yet. So we need to go back. And, uh... Give, um, this case back, actually. 
Maybe that's what it was, that toolbox thing I picked up. I thought that was just a um, toolbox of some kind, but I guess that's the case for the duty member. So we've got that. We also need to return to the leader of duty. Go and talk to the general now. See what he's got to offer us after flooding the mutants hideout. There wasn't actually as many mutants down there as I thought. I thought it would be like endlessly running into like more snorks and ooh, that's a nice gun. That's a very nice gun. Can I have it? Please? Stop. The world is trembling at the sight of the disease spreading from the zone. Well, I mean, you need to move on so I can actually walk by, because I, I can't get past you. Thank you. Yeah, I expected there to be a lot more mutants down there than there was. We killed a fair amount of, um, Snorks, and we saw, you know, the pirate guys, obviously. And the controller, but I thought it'd be more than that, you know. What's going on? Wait, that guy downstairs is moving. Uh, that wants the case. I better talk to him before he goes out and dies or something. It sounds like Duty's getting ready to move out somewhere. And I want to get that quest done just for the reward, you know? Was it you? No. Where are you? There you are. Hold up, sir. I returned what you asked me to. So these guys are all doing their thing, like they're going to go out and take somewhere. I wonder where they're going to go. They must be going to take a location. I doubt they're going to take locations off of the loners, though. Maybe they're going to take some of these outposts and camp areas. Start talking. I ain't got much time. Sorry. Okay, now let's go and talk to the general. This is when they all started... Look at you with your nice weapon there. PDA with secret information. Look, I was mugged by the bandits at the garbage. They took everything. Cash, weapons, ammo, and my medical supplies. Worst of all, they took my PDA, which contains information about bandit locations at the garbage. If I don't deliver that to Krylov, he'll bury me alive. Help me get it back. I mean, we've got a bone to pick with the bandits. We'll definitely get that PD back for him. Because I need to go through the garbage again at yes. some point anyway, just to do what I want to. Because I want to get those M4s and sell them back to Clear Sky. Okay, let's go and talk to the general. What you need, Mark? Mercenary, you did your duty well. Here, this is from me. You'll come in useful in the zone. Give me ten grand. Thank you for this reward. Proud to serve duty. Um, I would not like to be part of duty, but I'm thankful for the cash you gave me. What can you offer me? Okay, I'll pay you with the secret cash. A stalker backpack that's by a fence. A HV tower will serve as a reference point. What's actually in there? No idea. Take care. Well, I expected more out of him. I thought he'd say something to us, maybe, or give us some other things, but apparently that's all he wanted to do. Just, um... Give me 10 grand. Let's go and collect our reward from the trader. Yes. And then we'll look at what I'm going to do next time. Um, how you guys doing down here? Are they like waiting for someone? I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple of squads on the move. Look, this one's going to the barrier. And this one's going to the barrier as well. Is that the barrier where these guys are? I don't know. I guess this is a backup squad, I don't know. 
Let's see. Um, we picked up some AKs. Let me unload those. Hmm. Do I want to keep this shotgun? Is it better than our shotgun? I mean, the handling is just a little bit better, it looks like, and that's it. It doesn't do much more damage. I don't know. Anyway, let's sell this stuff to him. Finally. Here you go, buddy. I know you don't like me, but there's some stuff for you. You can have this uh, trash ammo as well that I don't need. And those. Wow, we used a lot of medkits down there, actually. I'm going to have to start carrying the medkits again. That controller ate through a lot of our medkits, and so did um, that fire on the stairs as well, trying to get past all of the fire from the pyrogeists. I'm going to have to definitely get some more. Those are pricey. I'm sure I can find some more, though. Well then guys, um, that's going to do it for today's episode of Stalker Clear Sky. We've gained a few bits of information here. We now know to go to Lake Yantar to look for Strelok, trying to intercept him. Oh look, the duty members are going into the garbage. Are they going where I think they are? Are they going up there to attack freedom? I don't like that. But I can't. Hmm. I don't want to mess with Duty yet. If I'm going to mess with him, I don't want to mess with him yet. I don't know. I'll have to be careful. So, anyway, we learned about Strelok. We're going to go and try and cut him off at Yantar, but I don't know if we're going to do that next time, honestly. Um, what I think I'm going to do off screen, maybe I'll do it as like a little 10 minute episode or something just as a little bonus thing, is go back through here, take out the bandits again, pick up the weapons from Freedom, and then go back down to Clear Sky, sell them down there. So we've got all our cash. There's so many stashes in the swamp. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I don't know what we're going to actually do next time. There is still things for us to do around here. We could farm some money from the firing range in the duty base. And there is a lot of stashes appearing now for us in this area, so we should probably go and search some of stashes to find the upgrade uh, flash drives for the mechanics here. I think that would be a good idea for us. Hmm. Well guys, anyway, that's going to do for today, so I want to thank you all for watching, as per usual, and we will work out what to do next time. Let me know, actually, about the Sunrise suit. It doesn't look like it's going to be better than the Sever suit. So I think I'm probably going to sell that, because I think it's not going to be worth our time. Plus that cash could go a long way to upgrading our other suits. Speaking of which, I should go back and grab all those things, just in case I forget. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you again next time when we return to the zone.